What would you do if you won a lottery? Invest it or spend everything? While I keep dreaming about winning, let's see how the actual winners spent their jackpot. First up on our list is Dina Sampson of Sheffield, South Yorkshire. This 40-year-old hit over $5 million in 1996. To everyone's surprise, she didn't blow up all the money by mindlessly spending the newfound fortune on unnecessary things. Instead, she used it to give her parents a comfortable lifestyle. Not only did she buy a bungalow, but she also took her entire family of 22 members on a long trip to Jamaica. However, she chose to spend $80,000 on a yacht on her 40th birthday. That sounds like a guilt pleasure to us. The huge lottery win helped Dina clear all her debts. Thank goodness the lottery helped her live a life in peace. Cheryl Brunil is one of the most humble and modest lottery winners on our list today. This 1997 lottery winner won a whopping $900,000 in the lottery. Cheryl hails from the Stockton Tees, while reflecting on his experience, Cheryl says, The lottery win has always allowed me to indulge in my Wobby Williams obsession, but I never calculated how much it has cost to see him around 40 times in a concert. In places as diverse as Barcelona, Vegas, Berlin, and Belgium, well, that's the dream, spending money without having to check on your balance. That's what we call living life with no strings attached. Ray Rag our next lottery winner is altruistic. Well, we are not here to praise just for the sake of it, right? I mean, how often do people donate to charities, especially when they hit the jackpot? Not many, right? Ray Rag won over $7 million in the year 2000 and did not hesitate to donate a huge chunk of his lucky money to charity. Now, that's one big and brave heart. We bought a Range Rover and filled it with Easter eggs for local kids with a shift from school. And we paid for them to go on a farm vacation, he says. Do you think you could do something like that? Me either. Tom Naylor is like every one of us. He chose to travel down the road that most of us choose too. Tom from Weston Aston, Chokesire, won over $15 million in 2001. That's a big amount for sure. But do you want to know what he done with that amount? He used it to buy two Aston Martins, three Jaguars, a Ford Mustang, a Land Rover Discovery. This guy looks like he is high on money, doesn't he? He also flew nine of his family to New York on Conquer Road. That must be one happy family trip for Tom. The entire trip cost Tom around $25,000. Reflecting on their experience, Tom's family said, When we arrived at the airport, we saw three huge white stretch limos waiting for us. It was an incredible moment. Wanderlust souls usually spend a lot on traveling. Ben Woods of Liverpool proved that he is indeed a Wanderlust. He won over $2 million in 2004 and used it on 12 trips for himself and his family. Every year, Americans spend more than $80 billion on lotteries. And this has made lotteries one of the biggest sectors in the market. Everyone has that hope to get successful one day and hit the jackpot. And this drives to keep players going back to playing their cards and hoping to win one day. Although, lottery addiction can be a pain as well. It can even cause dispute in families. Well, coming back to the video, we have another travel lover. By now, you'd be able to guess that we have plenty of people who travel once they win the lottery. Gyalfi Bennett used his $3 million lottery money, which he won in 2011, to hit the roads of South Africa, Scandinavia, India, New Zealand, and Australia. We all plan to do a lot when we finally hit a lottery, but not everything goes as per planned. John Eliza Robinson of Tennessee, Two, decide to stay in their own one-story house, pay off their mortgage, and cover their daughter's student loans after winning a whopping 1.6 billion Powerball jackpot in 2016. However, they purchased a 10-bedroom luxurious home with a surreal lake view, private home theater, and eight bathrooms. Colleen and Chris Wire, winners of Britain's largest ever lottery prize, won $161 million in July 2011. They bought an $850,000 mansion in Largest, North Ackshire, Scotland. They gave it a makeover and built a luxury indoor swimming pool, spa pool, jacuzzi, Roman-style ornamental statues, and a greenhouse. It seems like the entire money went to this one house. We have another donator on the list. Bob Erb of Canada won a $25 million Lotto Max jackpot in 2012 and donated a significant chunk of it to charity, which is estimated to be $8 million. He even went on to advocate the legalization of marijuana. Rick Cockrum won a $259 million Powerball jackpot in 2014. Rick is wise and hence decided to establish a foundation for performing arts in nonprofit theaters across the USA. Being an actor and a stage manager, that must have been pretty close to heart. He also donated some of his money to Doctors Without Borders and the University of Tennessee Medical Center during the Ebola crisis. 
Click one of the two videos on screen right now.